Well, originally it was just a little uh, three, nine month study to determine whether it was feasible to build a supersonic successor to the Harrier for the uh, Marine Corps. I had to come up with a way to increase the thrust of a jet engine so that you could take off vertically and yet not uh, make it impossible for the airplane to go supersonic. After about eight months, I knew I had about a month to go for the final report and nothing to report, so I was sitting at my desk and then bang, they had that uh, aha moment and I felt that this was the answer. This was going to work. This is what everything else has been missing. The best way to get power out of the back of an engine to drive a lift fan up front was the way it's always been done with a turbine and the best way to get the power forward was with a shaft and the best way to turn the power into a lift was with a fan. I'm not a propulsion engineer so I didn't know if it would really work so I went down to the flight sciences department and found one of our propulsion experts and asked him what he thought of the idea if he thought it was feasible. Um, it works pretty much like a car. The pilot uh, gets in, it's sitting on the runway, and he starts the engine. Then he engages the clutch that drives the lift fan. Then once the clutch is engaged, he advances the throttle, and uh, you get two lift jets, one at the rear and one from the lift fan, and that lifts the airplane up, and then the bleed air coming off of the engine fan is used for roll control, so it rises just like it was on a hydraulic lift. It's been uh, incredible to see something that went from uh, just an idea on a napkin to production. I've been doing this for almost 30 years now. I was um, in the Air Force first at the Aerospace Research Labs, and I had the good luck to be assigned to Hans von Ohain, who was the uh, German scientist who invented the jet engine. And um, he showed me how to um, do engineering rather than uh, math. I always say that in school I learned how to move the pieces and Hans taught me how to play chess. In the last half century there have been more than 50 airplanes around the world that were attempts to build supersonic Stovall airplanes. The Joint Strike Fighter is the first one in history to take off in a short distance, go supersonic and come back and land vertically. Because variants of this airplane can be based on conventional airfields or aircraft carriers, or at remote sites, it'll be where it needs to be, and its uh, supersonic capabilities, stealth, and super maneuverability will assure that our pilots come home safely.